VPNs for Linux. They all share a common compatibility issue. There just aren't many providers that do things right. And that made me wonder, how good is NordVPN for Linux, considering the worldwide reputation of this provider? So I decided to thoroughly test NordVPN on Linux, and here's what I found. So I knew that NordVPN on Linux would be different from other platforms, but I had no idea how much. First of all, the NordVPN app on Linux is fully open source, allowing the community to improve the app or even modify it. Secondly, you won't see a conventional interface in place. There's no NordVPN Linux GUI. So this command line is everything I need. Writing commands is how you get around the NordVPN Ubuntu GUI, or actually the lack of it. So let's see how to install NordVPN on Linux and what you need for that. The first requirement is knowing your way around the terminal. You need to know how to bring up the NordVPN Linux command line and how to make sure it works. The pseudo privileges and a root password are also a must. Pseudo privileges are the same as administrator status on Windows. Before you get to install NordVPN on Ubuntu, you'll need to get a VPN subscription and you can get a pretty cheap one through the link in the description. Here's something worth noting. It's good to have open VPN configuration files to avoid any issues during the NordVPN setup. So don't worry if this is getting a little complicated. In the worst case, NordVPN does have dedicated Linux tutorials. And to show you that it's not that complicated, here's how I installed NordVPN on Linux myself. Oh, and by the way, you can install NordVPN on Ubuntu and other most popular Linux distros, no problem. Okay, first I downloaded the NordVPN client by opening the command line and typing this. At first I had an issue because I lacked the necessary permissions, but running this command line and restarting my PC fixed it. So just make sure you have administrator privileges for this to work. Now that I have a client, I can go ahead and log in through the same command line using the NordVPN login command. And after this, I can just type NordVPN connect to connect to a server or just NordVPN to check available settings. So there's quite a lot that can be configured. So here's how to use NordVPN features on Linux. The feature I used the most was Threat Protection Lite. As long as your VPN connection is active, it'll stand on the lookout for malicious links, ads, and trackers. And to prevent IP leaks due to connection breaks, I always enable Kill Switch as well. Sometimes I use obfuscated servers also just to make sure my ISP doesn't see that I'm using a VPN. And talking about servers, NordVPN has over 5,800 servers in 60 countries worldwide. It's a pretty good range, especially if you're interested in streaming content. So with all these servers, I've never had trouble accessing foreign streaming content. The speed's good as well, since I don't have to use the NordVPN OpenVPN protocol, which is slower than the proprietary NordLynx, which is also available on Linux now as well. But it's not like I have to worry about my data leaking either. You know, NordLynx keeps no logs of user activity and even implemented a RAM only server structure, which wipe any data on reset. And thanks to the privacy friendly Panama jurisdiction, you can also be sure that no country could ever even require NordVPN to release your data. So the question is, is NordVPN worth it? Well, I do have to admit that it's not the cheapest VPN provider, but that doesn't mean it doesn't provide a great value. And the biannual pricing is actually a steal in my opinion, especially when you consider that one account can be shared with up to six people. And considering how fast NordVPN rolls out updates, I bet we could expect a GUI to appear soon as well, which would make NordVPN an even better deal. So far, no matter what OS I tested, NordVPN remains one of the best VPN picks. Yeah, it's missing a GUI on Linux, but other than that, NordVPN has everything I need from a VPN and it's easy enough to install and use on Linux. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Hope you consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video, peace.